Today we're going to be testing out the Honeywell Vista security system that's installed next to the fire alarm control panel in the garage. If you're a subscriber of this channel and you've seen a lot of my other videos then you probably know this system is really more for fun. As you can see it's plugged right into the wall where anyone could easily unplug the system. But regardless it's still a cool system so I'm going to show you it today. As you can see, there is one change, finally, to the system. I have an Ademco motion sensor installed. And it's just installed right above the main control panel. So I can finally test the system in away mode, which I'll show you today. Below the security keypad, I have this blue police pull station. I'll go ahead and open it up so that you can take a look at the inside and the model. I right now have it set up so that if it is pulled, regardless of if the system is armed, or in stay mode, or if it's not even armed, it will activate the alarm, and if it were monitored, it would call the police. And then as a siren, I have this DSC siren, and here is the box, I actually have a second one, and as you can see, the model is SD15W-ULF, electronic siren. First off today, we'll arm the system by putting it in away mode so that we can test out that new motion sensor. So we'll go ahead and access the keypad here, and do you see how button number two says away on it? All I have to do is enter in the passcode and push the number two button to arm it to away. And when I do that, a countdown timer will start to allow me enough time to leave the area so that I don't accidentally set off the alarm as I'm trying to leave. So here we go. And now it's armed and it's counting down. And yes, I know the passcode is something simple so that I can remember it. Once again, this is just a demonstration play system. So the system is now armed, which means if that motion sensor activates, it's going to set off the alarm. So I'm just going to move very slowly towards the panel and that motion sensor will activate pretty quickly and it'll set off the alarm. Here we go. There we go, the alarm has been cleared. On the security keypad, there are three buttons. Medical, police, fire. And they do exactly what you think. If you push one, it will activate the proper alarm. And if it were monitored, it would call the proper agency to your house or wherever the keypad is installed. I'll go ahead and push each one so you can see what they do. We'll start off with the medical. So as you can see, that one just sets off an alarm on the keypad and then of course it would call EMS. Let's go ahead and activate the police one. Push the wrong buttons there. But as you can see, that one obviously would put the system into police panic mode. And then we'll go ahead and activate the fire button. So as you heard, that just activated the fire alarm that's on the security panel. 
And then no, it doesn't activate the fire alarm control panel. I don't have that wired in to do so. But uh, some systems, obviously, yes, they could do that. All right, we'll finish off today and activate the police pull station. Here we go. Push, pull. As you can hear, the alarm is decently loud. Actually, we'll go ahead and reset that pull station. There we go. There we go, the system has been put back into its normal ready mode. And I think we're gonna end my security system test there. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.